kids. Say thanks to everybody. Thanks to to uh, Mr. Stern here to my right. Business, MG, whatever that makes best fights, the best matches. Don King's been doing it for decades and decades and decades, and that's great. Father Mr. Stern, he laid the foundation, and you can say top rank. You know these guys been around a long time. So anybody else that's coming in the game now, it's easy to say this is going to happen, that's going to happen. But if we all if we all think one way, when I mean one way, yes, behind the scenes, business is business. When I'm talking about one way, I'm talking about what's best for boxing. We keep your jobs where they at, and that's business of journalism. To be able to watch great fights, to be able to watch this heavyweight championship coming up Saturday on Showtime, the first in this country for a long time. We know the drought in the heavyweight division has been long enough, and I believe this Saturday, Whoever wins this, it's going to be talked about. It's going to be talked about it. Because I don't see this fight going 12 rounds. But this is good for boxing. No matter who promoted it, no matter who's blessed to get these matches that fights people want to see, whether it's Golden Boy, whether it's this person, I mean, that company, that company, it doesn't matter to me. Truthfully, I prefer it to be Golden Boy, but just in case things happen and somewhere else, just put on the best shows because this, because this, because because this sport, because this sport, this sport that I passionately love so much to be on my 50th birthday, a milestone in anyone's life, to be here in Las Vegas, to be here in Las Vegas, sharing it with y'all, sharing it with Don King. This ain't about personal. This ain't about none of this stuff, my feelings. Know what this is about? This is about a sport that gave me a second chance in life for those who don't know my story. And so as I wind down, this might seem like a speech, but this is what I'm passionate about. And I put the call out and the challenge to all the fighters, to all the managers, to all the promoters, to all the networks, to all the agendas. That let's just do what's right for people that buy our sport, that take care of my, that, that provided my lifestyle. They had to buy the pay-per-view, right? They had to turn the TV on for the ratings for people to be able to see how many fights, how many people watched the fight, how many people, how many people was interested in the fight. And this is a start. The heavyweight division always been the head to the body that controls the body. The heavyweight division was always looked upon against the greats, the Mike Tyson, the Holyfields, the Riddick Bow, the Lennox Lewis, and go all the way back to Sonny Liston and the great Joe Frazier of Philadelphia. So I'm proud to be here and I'm proud to sacrifice time that I could be with my family at a milestone time of life, 50 in a centerpiece of 100. Let's make it happen, y'all. Let's show up, tell your friends, tell everybody, because this is passionate as this speech is, and I'm not even fighting, not in the ring. But this is going to be something that I want to do until God take the breath out of my body is be part of a boxing company, to be part of a boxing entity, boxing period, done a lot for me and done a lot for people that come up in here in the city. Not from Harvard College, because Harvard College don't fight. They don't have to, but we do, because our degrees come different. Thank you. Thank you, Bernard. That was really great, because boxing is a great sport. And it was very difficult for me when I signed the two greatest athletes in the world, Muhammad Ali and uh, George Foreman, and couldn't get no 